Oh, the good old Poco building. I, that was, uh, I always felt not a proper, and no disrespect to the people of Portland, lovely people, lovely crowds, um, but the building with such a low ceiling and, and then that lighting, I don't feel like it um, was up to the standard that ECCW set with shows that like uh, the Commodore Ballroom, for instance. Um, it's hard to go from that, uh, unfortunately, to more of a community center type feel, and it's it's something I I'm gonna try to stray from from when uh, when we return uh, when we can have crowds again. Yeah, it was definitely uh, funny because we were running those shows at the same exact con, and like. Being a high flyer as I was back in the day, these were the shows I was on a lot. Perfect, perfect. So we could really utilize all your strengths by making sure you can't jump off the top rope. Yeah, was, I definitely missed the High Creek building. That, that building was awesome. Yeah, High Creek was good. So this, uh, for the people watching at home, this is your last uh, wrestling match you ever had. Um, I think ECCW or otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, fooled around the ring a couple times afterwards, but this is the last actual match. I was the Sai Kai character in the House of Hell. Yes, uh, House of Hell, a lot of members. A lot that of was members. people were critical of. Uh, and it got got a little too kind of like uh, the NWO when they started adding like, uh, and no disrespect to Mike Rotundo, but VK Wall Street, and no disrespect to Ray Trailer. Love Ray Trailer. <laughs> Love the Big Boss Man, uh, but. You know Ray Trailer in the NWO and um, or wait no they just they they just fooled him. I think they just fooled him, but I mean it was getting that was actually ridiculous. that was sad when. They but at the same him. time, man, it was the coolest thing going in wrestling. So I didn't if you were a member of the NWO, it didn't matter who you were, it kept adding to the mystique of them. I, it was it was I, it. It, it 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 diluted it where it's like if they had I could go on yeah. I could go on and on. But this right here, we have the Voros twins, two guys that have really uh, taken the internet by storm. Um, they've gone viral with their Da Vinci. Yeah, da Vinci? Uh, yes. Um, they were asked uh, about uh, who painted the Mona Lisa, and they almost got it. Uh, the pronunciation a little off, and got to the point where James Corden, a late night host, I don't watch late night. Um, network television, but it has a button on his desk. That that, says it. Yes, and that's and that's something. Yeah. But uh, it must be one of their first matches, um, and and you're literally your last. Yeah, definitely. I wasn't in the greatest of mind frames back here. No. Uh, it's kind of a kind of getting uh, fed up with some things. I won't get too far into it. The powers that be, whoever yeah. was running ECCW, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't I know, know anything some, about some it. Assholes. I don't that's know. Right. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> can't be all bad. No, it was great. I I just recently watched this match for I think probably the first time. Nice, honest. that was yeah, pretty it looked really good. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but like uh, actually, my partner, I what was he going? Was he Stallion Smith? Yep, yep. Yeah, he, he or Mr. Smith. Yeah, he was Mr. Smith at this point. Yeah, uh, we teamed, and he's the one that told me when we were having a chat. He's like, "When was your mat last match?" He's the one that told me that it was this, so he was my partner. Wow. But you can tell this is a different match for me. I definitely uh, had some angst. Yes. Look a little bit more, uh, like we call stiff. Yes. Stiff, stiff with the kids. Yes, yes. But I think it added with the character at the time. After uh, watching it, I wish I stuck around a little bit longer. Yes, but. I'm enjoying the match so far. And uh, you and, and Mr. Smith seem to work well as a team. Um, and looking at this now, I, uh, I think that... that uh, working way up the tag team ranks would have been uh, something I would have liked to see. Yeah. Oh, that was, yeah, you laid that in. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few. Nice. That's a, a, a version of uh, 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 defeat, something. Yeah, like, I mean, uh, basically, I wrap my, put my foot on the guy's throat and drop down with almost like a chin breaker with my foot. Yes. Uh, almost cold breaker esque, but yes. in the front of the guy, I guess. I well, I, would you bring that back? I love it. I loved it. Yeah. I started trying at this point. It was a ninja character, obviously. Mm -hmm. A little bit different moveset, uh, besides a few key ones I always like keeping. 
but I was trying to make it more organic. Mm. I'm Ninja Kicks. I have no history of martial arts training, but after watching this match, boxing though, boxing. Man, that's my hands. It's fine. Kickboxing, zero kickboxing. Mm. After watching this match, though, I'm pretty happy with my kicks, and I, I'm happy that I like made sure I kind of like watched or like martial arts and kung fu movies back in the day yeah to kind of get the character down teenage mutant ninja yeah, turtles obviously maybe. i got the, tur the turtles tattoo on my wrist yes yeah who is your who's your favorite turtle? Raphael. i mean red red yeah, is not red is not as yeah, red has yeah. always not only been uh because of the red hair it's yeah. been a color love for the color see uh for me i w I, I was the typical that was that was really stiff that was, <laughs> yeah uh, but it looked good it looked good yeah, You're it. welcoming the, the, the Voros to the business yeah. on your way out. Oh, that was nice, too. Um, orange uh, was the color of Michelangelo. And yeah. uh, I, orange isn't my first pick, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to gear or anything. But uh, Michelangelo, it was, uh, I liked it that he would say cowabunga and dude and bodacious. And, yeah. Um, the party guy. Yeah, that was amazing. That was one. really nice too. That that was something I came up with at training one day, where I'm like, everybody likes to do the, the up and over. Yeah. But what if you pull the guy and you kick him yeah. instead? I really like it. There's, I think there's several things that you that you bust out and miss that I'd love to see you bring back. Do you ever uh, remember? I, I always tried to take moves that might have been done before and always put a twist on it. But I did like a springboard blockbuster too. Nice. I always tried to like where I not you know like to jump on the middle rope and then do like mm. a good twist and I I just every match I did it and I never got to see those matches. <laughs> ah. So are you seeing the blockbusters out? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know I could definitely do it again. I okay, love good. I love doing the blockbuster. I may be a little bit hefty, but I can still do it all. That's what's crazy. I know I can still do this shit. I like that. <laughs> I'm really I'm impressed with Mr. Smith's work. I always was. Yeah, he's um, underrated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Smith, if you're if you're watching at home, uh, thank you for the phone call. This is really good. Oh, demolition, decapitation, <laughs> double stomp. Beautiful. <laughs> that could be a fit. Oh, and <laughs> cherry on top. Yeah, it was definitely a little bit mean. But yeah, so M Mr. Smith is watching at home. Thank you for, for reminding uh, De Niro here about his last match. And uh, give me a call. Yeah, I know. He's, he's an underrated dude. I, I always enjoyed his work. Um, Solid. Known him since I was a teenager. Yeah. Great dude. Great. Look, looks in great shape. Always did. Always did. Yeah. And I knew him when he was a scrawny, scrawny little guy. Yeah. Like, we, he's a few years older, but we've known each other since we were both kids. I remember him from the from the front row. Oh, it was the finish. Good finish. Good finish. Yeah. So this is a big little, win for the Voros. Yeah. On on their way to the the, the tag team titles. Uh, eventually. You gave them one of their first big wins here, I'm sure, and. Christina, my wife, and I, we gave them their first uh, tag team title win. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Nobody knew from that same tattoo that Red De Niro and the Ninja had. Oh, I thought it was just the thing that, uh, the, the, that you were in the same gang. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, we both loved like, the Like, you know, like the, those, the ones where they, 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 um... Brand them, and yeah. so this, that's that's your version. And yeah, no, all that. those like really, really white, redheaded dudes in the Pacific Northwest wrestling scene. Like, who could these two guys be? We didn't mention your cheer, your cheerleader there. Um, I thought that that was a good role. Hey, look at that! You got a, an applause, a polite applause, as if you turn baby. It's that's what happens in pro wrestling. Is if you're a a heel and your heel partners turn on you. All of a sudden, uh, you'll get applause when you get up. Yeah, oftentimes. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I those that poker crowd was uh, slow that night, or they had a few. Uh, well, no, I think they I mean, wanted to see you. Maybe they really didn't know I was revenge. A, maybe, oh, maybe they. Oh, oh my like, god! Uh, yeah, yeah. It's that guy that was with Scotty Mac for those couple of years. 
<laughs> yeah, but we were heels, so they wouldn't have been so. Oh, oh, no, we were babies for a bit. Like, uh, yeah, yeah when kids. I did the chin, yeah. Ginger Ninja gimmick with you, for, yeah, uh, we did. I remember main eventing I think Chilliwack with you against the gods. That sounds fun. Yeah, it was great. I remember that match really well because I really screwed up my wrist. Is that online? It was. Um, actually, today I posted a new picture on Facebook. I shared a memory of a moonsault I did to the floor from that match. That's when I fucked up my wrist. Ah. I, um, yeah, I couldn't wipe for like a week. <laughs> with my, for like a good two weeks, actually, with this hand. It hurt so bad when it's your right, when it's your hand. <laughs> it was pretty brutal because, yeah. Try, some try. say they're writing hands, some say they're wiping hands. Well, like, try, try. If you ever want to like trick yourself and kind of like uh -huh. make, test yourself, I'll say, uh -huh. try wiping with your opposite hand. It's very difficult. It's not as easy as you think it is. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm up for the, a good challenge. <laughs> try, it um, try it out next time. But yeah, I had no choice. It was so swollen to a point where like, I remember it, it was a great, it was actually a pretty fun match. Um, yeah, no. I think we should, I think we should put that in the queue for, for upcoming yeah. watch alongs. Yeah. Uh, we should really come up with a name for our watch alongs too. Yeah, yeah we um, should. You know what that is? We'll take suggestions. We'll put it out there. Yeah, for sure. Everyone, no. send in your suggestions. Uh, I'm Scotty Mack. Red De Niro. Uh, this has been an ECCW watch along.